Every woman anticipates menopause with lot of fear, worry, anxiety and some enigma. Will I now become fat? Will my skin have wrinkles? Will I suddenly start getting old? Will I lose my sex drive? Will my bones become weak? So is it really the end of your best days? Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anjali Kumar. I once again bring greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So for me, menopause has been literally the best phase of my life. I had an early menopause at 42 years of age and it's been 17 years post my menopause and I can say it's been the most valuable, fruitful and precious phase of my life. It taught me the importance of good health, diet, exercise, family, peace and happiness in life. It taught me how aging can be beautiful and productive. I learned to eat well. I learned to keep myself fit and continued to learn new skills. I started doing advanced laparoscopic surgeries at around 40 years of age. I became a certified yoga teacher at 50 years of age. I started Maitri and YouTube at 56 years of age. And there is still a lot more to do and achieve. So what does it take to have a healthy, happy and a fruitful menopause? How should we take care? What tests? What diet? What supplements? We are starting a menopause series on popular demand covering all these topics. So stay tuned and share these videos with your mom, mom-in-law, aunt and every woman young or old in their life. So what is menopause? It is men o pause which means the periods pause. Now when the periods start, it is called menarche. When they stop, it is called menopause. Menopause is the end of woman's menstrual cycles and obviously her fertility. When periods stop for one year completely, we officially declare menopause. And remember, after that, any vaginal bleeding is abnormal. So why does menopause happen? When a girl child is born, she is born with millions of eggs in her ovary. This is called the ovarian reserve. With time, the number of these eggs diminish gradually. These eggs in your ovary every month produce estrogen and progesterone which lead to periods. When the eggs in the ovary finish, the ovaries no longer produce the hormones, estrogen and progesterone and obviously the periods stop. There is no fixed age for menopause because every woman is born with different ovarian reserve. So if someone has lot of eggs in her ovary, she will get her menopause late in life. While if someone is born with lesser number of eggs in the ovary, she will have an early menopause. That is why the age of menopause is usually genetically determined. The daughters tend to follow the mother's menopause age. The average age of menopause varies with different societies, different cultures and different ethnicities. In Indian women, the average age of menopause is roughly around 45 to 50 years. However, these days we are seeing a very disturbing phenomena. Women are losing their eggs faster and earlier in life because of bad diet, environmental toxins like processed food, pesticides and herbicides in food leading to an early menopause. Also, any surgery in the ovary like an ovarian cyst removal or the removal of the ovary or chemotherapy or the radiation therapy for a cancer treatment also can suddenly decrease the ovarian reserve leading to an early menopause. So what are the stages of menopause? So the process of menopause is not sudden. It happens slowly over many years. So the first is perimenopause, which means before menopause. So now this time your cycles might become irregular, but they haven't really stopped. Now this stage might go on for five to eight years before the actual menopause happens. So even though you might notice symptoms like hot flushes, 
you can still get pregnant because ovulation even if it is irregular can still happen and catch you off guard so contraception is definitely needed at this time next menopause now when there are no periods for one year which means that you do not get even a single period consecutively for one year this is called menopause after one year the chances of pregnancy are almost negligible hot flushes vaginal dryness sleep problems and other symptoms are common at this stage then post menopause now this begins when you hit the year mark from your final period once that happens you will be now referred to as post menopausal for the rest of your life now there's a term called early menopause about 5% of women undergo menopause between the age of 40 to 45 this is called early menopause premature menopause about 1% of women begin menopause before the age of 40 this is called premature menopause or primary ovarian insufficiency or primary ovarian failure now this needs a very special care as deficiency of estrogen can affect the bone health and the cardiac health what symptoms will i feel during menopause irregular periods that's the first symptom now the periods can be early or delayed they can be scanty and little heavier also however any significant heavy bleeding should definitely be reported to the doctor and investigated hot flashes and night sweats now these are also known as vasomotor symptoms it's the sudden feeling of warmth that spreads all over your body starting from your face and upper body now in the next video we will talk in detail about the treatment and management of hot flashes so stay tuned and don't miss that video mood swings a woman might feel irritable anger there could be sleep disturbances difficulty falling asleep mild depression but remember all these may or may not happen in every woman lower sex drive vaginal dryness and soreness that causes itching dry feeling pain and discomfort during sex urinary urgency which means that there is pressing need to pee more frequently and inadequate bladder control which means that you can't seem to hold your urine headaches and migraines weight gain i know every woman is bothered with this so the culprit is slower metabolism which means with the same diet and same physical activity you could probably gain weight now reduced muscle mass so it's very important to exercise now and do strength training painful or stiff joints choose an exercise routine which is a good mix of strength training and flexibility like yoga reduce bone mass osteoporosis now this is important let's talk about this in a little detail so as women enter menopause their estrogen and progesterone levels begin to fall now estrogen is a natural protector of bone strength the lack of estrogen contributes to the development of osteoporosis this is a disease which causes bones to become thin less dense brittle and weak making them more prone to fractures even at the slightest injury or a simple fall osteoporosis actually shows very few symptoms or maybe no symptoms and can progress to advanced stages without showing any problems or symptoms so it is often not discovered until you have a fracture and once you have a fracture as a result of osteoporosis you are more prone to be having another one too lesser full breast as the breast tissue is also dependent upon the estrogen hair thinning or loss i know no woman likes that during menopause that's the result of the hormonal imbalance specifically lesser estrogen and progesterone in some cases however these hormones can cause more hair to grow on the face that is why some menopausal women develop what is known as a facial peach fuzz and small sprouts of hair on the chin and some other areas of the body like face neck chest and upper back increased chances of cardiovascular disease now this is serious 
Before menopause, the women tend to have a much lower risk of heart attacks as compared to men as the estrogen tends to protect their heart. While after menopause, their risk of having a heart attack equals that of a man. So women who have an early menopause are at a significantly higher risk for this. But now wait a minute, not every woman will have all these symptoms and they could vary in intensity also. But it is very, very important to know all this. So what tests should I get? So definitely ask your doctor for all these. So number one is the test for confirmation of menopause. So there's a test called FSH, follicle stimulating hormones. So the levels of FSH will jump as your ovaries begin to shut down. So FSH levels of more than 40 are usually indicative of menopause. Second, AMH, anti ovarian hormone. It is a test to check your ovarian reserve. The levels start to decline from the perimenopausal years. The normal values are 2 to 4. Third, ultrasound pelvis. The size of the ovary will now reduce and there are no antral follicles. So what are antral follicles? These are budding eggs in the ovaries. Now there are certain other tests also which should be done by postmenopausal women like CBC, LFT which is a liver function test, kidney function test, lipid profile, blood sugars, HbA1c, HSCRP, ECG, X-ray chest, ultrasound whole abdomen, pap smear, screening sonomammogram or the ultrasound of the breast and very important bone densitometry. Menopause can be actually liberating. No periods, no worry of pregnancy. You can plan any holiday you want, trek, hiking, water sports, anything. It can be a beautiful state of transition provided you take care. We are coming out with detailed videos on hot flushes, benefits and risks of hormone replacement therapy and a most requested video on what diet and supplements to take during menopause. So stay tuned and do not forget to like, share and comment and I will see you soon.